everyone and welcome back to the fourth episode of uh, this Game Maker Studio tutorial. Um, yeah, and I'm still recording this the same day as I recorded the first one, so I haven't read any of your comments that yet. I'm sorry about that, but I just really want to have some stuff to upload so that yeah, you'll get some stuff to watch. Um, and um, yeah. What we're going to do this episode is we're going to make the player able to kill the enemies and we're going to make the enemies um, able to take lives away from you instead of just instantly killing you. So we're going to start by um, making the player able to kill the enemies. Um, we're going to do so that when... Uh, this is very simple, you just jump on them like in Mario, we're going to make it like that. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to test um, if Collision. Oh, I'm just put two if. If collision. This is in the player step event. If you haven't noticed, uh, line x comma y comma x comma y plus sixteen comma obj underscore enemy. And that's it. Doesn't matter with these two. Just set them to zero. Okay, and what this does is it tests if um, they're in a line from um, the X from the middle of the player to the middle of the player is uh, 16 pixels below if there is an enemy in any of uh, those pixels and if that's the case it's going to die so um, with um, we're going to just quickly put this object into a variable called I'm just going to call it i um, and what this does is so that we have set the object we just collided with to a variable so that we can pretty much control it whatever uh, so what we, we uh, write with i and now all the code we write right here is executed within the enemy so we can write instance destroy and this will do that the enemy destroys itself so um, yeah, now you will be able to see that it works. The enemies fall down, and if I hit, I die. But if I turn on top of the enemy, the enemy dies. So, yeah, and right there, I didn't hit it. You have to hit it so that the line hits on top of it, of course. So, if you hit like from the side, it doesn't work. You have to hit, hit on the top of the enemy. And we could make the, if you think it's, it's a little bit too um, far away from the enemy when the enemy dies, we can just quickly set the um, variable right here to, um, let's say, 10 instead of 16 pixels below you. And uh, we also got just quickly going to do something else that I think will make it look pretty good. We're just going to do so that when you, um, when you hit an enemy, you're like going to jump up in the air so we're just going to set jump to true when you hit an enemy and you're not going to jump as um, as far as normally so we're just going to set alarm 0 to 5 now you'll jump half the amount as you do when you normally jump okay so there we go as you can see now you hit the enemy and you jump a little bit so I think this looks pretty good um, so yeah now we just have to add some lives because I said we were going to do this in this episode too. And let's just start by adding a live sprite because we probably need a sprite for the lives. SPR underscore live. Yeah, I'm just going to call it that. And I'm just going to make it 32 by 32. And make it a beautiful heart. I'm so great at drawing hearts. It's so beautiful. Okay and like give it a, a glowing thing up there great this is a beautiful heart and I'm going to make an object called obj underscore control and this object is pretty much going to take care of all the lives and all the score and all that stuff in the background of the game so um, what it's going to do is in the beginning of the game it's going to set a variable called global dot hp to tree and uh, a variable a global variable is pretty much a variable that all objects can access so if you just 
right HP equals to 3 and um, you can only change the variable under the control object itself but um, when you write global.hp any object can change the variable and I hope you know what a variable is if you don't you should probably watch some other video before you watch this because yeah a variable is pretty much just you can say it's kind of like a box it can hold a number or some text or true or false and yeah I really do not know, know how to say variable correctly on, in English I've just noticed <laughs> I say variable or something like that, like that every time I try to say it but I think it's called a variable I hope but that doesn't matter let's just set the global variable HP to 3 and um, we have to draw something using the draw event but I'm not going to use the normal draw event I'm going to use the draw UI event what the uh, draw UI event pretty much does is that instead of drawing in a place here in the room it's going to draw on the screen this means that you can even though we for example have a view so that you can only say see right around the player like this uh, the health will always be in the same size and in the same place on the screen so um, when you want to dry, draw stuff like um, score or health uh, and stuff like that you should use the draw GUI event instead of the draw normal event so under the draw GUI event we want to draw the health this means that we are going to make what is called a for loop and uh, this is a bit complicated to explain how this works because it's very different than any other statement in Game Maker. And, um, but it's pretty much, it um, keeps on running some code again and again until something is false. And um, what you do to make a for loop, you're pretty much going to start by setting a variable called i to something. And in this case, we're going to set it to global.hp. And I hope this is, I'm doing this right because I'm not using for loops a lot and I could be doing this wrong. But uh, I think I'm doing it right. Um, and then over here we're going to say i minus equals 1. And then over here we're going to say uh, if i, I, uh, I mean i, i higher than 0. I hope this is correct. And down here we're then going to say draw right SPR let's go live uh, zero yeah. um, and then I times 32 um, or maybe instead of I I'm just going to I'm going to tell you what this does a little bit later it's yeah I'm just going to test if it works and if it does I'm going to tell you how it works because I'm not personally 100 yeah unexpected symbol this means that I've probably set this to in the opposite way I think this is how you're supposed to do it then just reverse those two yeah now it works I'm just going to put the object into the room so that you can see it also draws the health correctly yes take a look at that and um, how this works is pretty much it starts by setting a temporary va variable variable right. I'm just going to call it a variable and if that's wrong too bad you understand what I mean it's going to set that to global.hp and if global that uh, or if i is um, higher than uh, 0 it's going to say uh, i minus equals 1 meaning it's going to take 1 away from i and it's going to draw uh, the life sprite at the place of i times 45 and this means that first i is uh, equals to global.hp and global.hp is equals to 3 so it's going to draw the third heart at uh, the position of 45 uh, times 3 and then it's going to take one away from the i and going to draw a heart again but this time i is equal to 2 so now it's going to draw the heart at i times um, yeah at i times uh, 45 but now i is equal to 2 meaning it's going to draw it more to the left 
and next time i is equals to 1 meaning that it's going to write even more to the left and if you don't understand this i'm going to try to explain it a bit better later just tell me in the comments because the next episode i will record on another time or whatever i'm not going to record it at the same time as this so i will be able to respond to comments and stuff but this pretty much works and it draws the health now yeah so this works and you're going to lose that when you get hit by the enemy instead of um, the game restarting you're just going to lose a health uh, this means that we're going to say global.hp minus minus then we're going to take uh, one point away from the hp variable um, so yeah now every time you get hit you lose health but as you can probably see you lose health very fast and that isn't exactly how it's supposed to happen so I'm just going to do so that every time you hit an enemy the enemy is also going to disappear instance underscore destroy this is a very simple way of making this you could also do so that there's a cooldown and stuff but that will take too much time for this episode so now when you hit the enemy the enemy is going to disappear and you are going to lose health so yeah take a look at that the enemy died and you lose that, lost the heart mm, and I'm just going to put a few more enemies into the room oh I just chose the wrong object okay now there are a lot of enemies this means that now you can die but currently you do not die because we haven't made you die so I'm just going to do that after you get hit we are going to test if um, global at HP is less than zero or maybe less than one you know what? I'm just going to say less than one so that you can't have zero health because this means that if um, your HP is equal to zero or if it's equal to minus one or if it's equal to minus two or if it's lower than that it, you're going to die uh, and when you die we're just going to restart the game as before so now the entire life system should pretty much work So yeah, when you lose one health, you lose two health, and I'm just going to kill this guy, and we lost a, a third health, and we died. But we can of course also kill all of them by jumping on them, like in a Mario game, and I didn't hit them on that one correctly. Yeah, okay, maybe I should make that hit thing a bit less sensitive, because right now you have to be exactly on top of the enemy to kill it. But I'm going to do that in the next episode because this episode is pretty long currently. So remember to leave a like if you like and all that kind of stuff and write what you want to have be explained better in the next episode because in the ne next episode I will just try to explain all of your questions because I haven't really done that because all these episodes were recorded in one sitting. So yeah, next episode I'm going to respond to all of your questions. So um, just ask as much as you want to so yeah bye guys